I'll do away with the nice of these and try to get right to it since we have time constraints. Thank you. I have several issues. I'm going to go through them rather quickly. Uh, I hope there might be a question or two when I'm through. Uh, first of all, the, I know you're going next door to talk uh, to the council due to the testimony that uh, the mayor has done on uh, TV, print, etc. Uh, I've got to say that I believe that uh, his accusations are probably true. I know for the years uh, we, the disability community, uh, have been dealing with mistruths, uh, etc. Uh, a quick uh, example, there was an agreement between the city TriMet and the disability community uh, on all max extensions, including the ones being worked on now, that there would be yellow tactile no warning strips on platforms. Uh, everything I've seen and been told so far, TriMet is planning uh, to continue with white. And just uh, an FYI, the entire West Coast, except for Triangle, is a yellow tactile film warning strips on all rail platforms. Amtrak, uh, Tacoma, Seattle, uh, the entire state of California is state law. We're the only ones that don't. The disability community has been telling Triangle for years we want yellow. There are other issues besides just the students, and I'm not trying to take away from the students. That's a real problem. If our children can't get to school, what's, what's the future going to be for this country? At the same time, when this is going to be addressed today, what are you doing for people with disabilities? These are some of the same issues I brought up in the past. They, they, they weren't being brought up again as the mayor seemingly has a program in place to assist students. But where is anything to assist people with disabilities? You're still pricing people with disabilities off of paratransit and service. You're changing the boundaries, thus you're taking service away from people with disabilities. Their only means of transportation, again, lift paratransit service. Who are the people that use lift paratransit service? Not just people with disabilities, but the most severely, I hate to use the word disabled handicap, but that's what you're doing to them. You're making them into handicapped people. What are you going to do to stop that? I wish you would go over to Geldwin Field. I complain that the max trains do not make exterior announcements, which I'm sure you all are aware that exterior announcements are mandated by the FTA. Please bear with me for a minute. I know time constraints, and I'm skipping over a lot of stuff. This is one that you can go and see, and this has been a long time issue. Instead of activating the external announcements on MAX trains, staff has chosen to activate the audio portion of Transit Tracker, which we've been asking to be done throughout the entire system for years. It works, by the way, folks. That's a positive. But the reason it was done is a negative. You still are not making announcements for all people with disabilities that need exterior announcements. The external, I'm sorry, the transit tracker announcement, at best, with nobody on the platform, covers 20% of the platform. You have ambient noise on that platform. If you're not standing right underneath the transit tracker screen, where, it's where the, the audio comes from, you still do not know what train is pulled up on the platform. Every other platform in the entire TriMet system has external announcements. You can hear from one end of the platform to the other end of the platform what train pull up. Can't do it, gentlemen, feel it. Needs to be done. It's the law. And also, please go listen to the audio portion of the transit tracker and add it to your entire system. It does work. It should be done. Thank you. Thank you, Michael.